Hello everyone, and welcome back. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon in Vancouver, British Columbia. Not that you would know by my closed blinds behind me. But I'm here today just to literally get ready for the day, get my ass out the house, and I thought along the way I would just bring you along for the ride and explain to you a couple stories of how I eventually found my wedding dress. To those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, casual Instagram plug, follow me here pretty please. Um, I haven't shown the public my wedding dress just yet, obviously, saving it for the wedding day. Our wedding is not until June 20th, 2020, so just under a year to go. Of course, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, okay, what kind of story time can I do while I'm getting ready that's light, simple, filled with drama, because we know that's what all the people love. Um, and I'm going to go with how I bought a wedding dress, didn't like said dress, tried on a bunch more dresses, ripped some dresses because my ass is apparently the size of Jupiter, and so forth. So let's just get into it. Okay, so to start off this shame fest, I'm going to go ahead and use my Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. So, to begin said story of wedding dresses, I started shopping for them pretty early. We got engaged in July of 2018, and we already knew that it was going to be a good two years before we got married. But, me being the impatient person that I am, I decided to go shopping in November of 2018, knowing full damn well it's about a year and a half until our wedding. So, we go on, and you know, here's another thing, well, a good problem to have, so to speak. Every single bridal store that I went to, I liked a dress. Like, I could have walked out of every single place with a wedding dress. I mean, I think out of all of them, there was just one where it was so funny, Daddy, I could not find anything. And I have pretty picky taste. Okay, so sweet. My camera didn't film the whole portion of me putting my foundation on. And I had, like, really funny jokes and everything, and now I just feel weird re-repeating them. But continuing off of the last clip that I saw of my camera, um, you know, the first place that I went to with my mom, there was a really fabulous dress that it was like high neck, full sequin, it had like a little dip in the back, like it was gorgeous, but in the end I didn't want to have a sequin dress as a wedding dress because it just seemed like too much of like a evening dress, not a wedding dress almost. So. That day was actually pretty good. I mean, going into wedding dress shopping, it was... I had no idea, like, what I wanted. So literally any time, like, the girl would ask, like, what are you looking for today? I'd be like, I have no freaking idea. Like, I started with, like, the typical, like, A-line, like, you know, tight on the waist and then out. But because, like, I'm not short, like, I'm, like, five three and a half or something, but because I'm, like, shorter and then have, like, wider hips, like, it's not the most flattering for my body. So I ended up realizing that getting a, a tighter dress was going to be my main ticket here. And with that decision came the greatest responsibility of realizing that I'm probably not going to fit into most sample sizes of dresses. And I didn't realize that until I went on my next set of appointments. So my next set, we go to the first place, it's the same sequin dress that I saw before, and I still love the dress, but I just can't convince myself to do it because it's, again, too much of an evening dress. So I go to my second appointment of the day and I find the most beautiful Vera Wang dress that I ever did see even before I asked the girl what brand it was, I just knew it was a Vera Wang. And I'm not usually the type of person that's like, I need to have this brand for something to fit amazing, but I'm not gonna lie, I became a bit of a snob in that moment. I wanted it pretty damn bad. And it was somewhat attainable, but it was just, did I need a dress that, that, was, that was that expensive? 
hit me in all the right places and it was beautiful and it was number one in my mind for quite a little while but whoop, but did I really need it not really within thinking that I'm like okay now if I'm gonna get on this Vera Wang train I'm gonna go to David's Bridal which I think most people should be familiar with it's quite a big chain and Vera Wang does a specific line just through David's Bridal that's a little bit more attainable and so I drive all the way out it's about ooh, an hour and a half drive out from where I live I'm in downtown Vancouver and it's in a city called Langley that's quite a ways away out from here just realized I haven't been listing anything that I'm using so to backtrack face tape for foundation shape tape for concealer and also for contouring stick as well in the foundation I'm color light medium sand in the concealer I'm light medium and in the contour I am deep honey continuing on using the Huda Beauty powder in pound cake so we go out there and I see this dress that I found a long time ago on the David's Bridal website under the Vera Wang collection and it's beautiful but it's completely different than what I've been looking for everything else I was trying on was like tight and like very form-fitting and this was still more form-fitting but it kind of was more of like a trumpet style than like a mermaid style and it just it was really nice and it was really unique I hadn't seen anything else like it and to be honest the price was amazing on it and we're having about 200 people at our wedding so you know finding a dress that was within a good cost range like really helped in my mind so I, I battled back and forth with it and I kept thinking but the other one is so much nicer I really like the other one but then final decision at the end of the day was I don't need the really expensive one with my mom and one of my best friends in tow I decide to get the Vera Wang uh, from David's Bridal on the spot we order it we do this like big cowbell type of ceremony it was really weird very Langley I must say um, and we purchase the dress they make a sign a contract saying it's a final sale no takesy backsies and I'm like alright I'm okay with this decision literally three hours later well not even in the car ride home with my best friend I keep telling her no it's an amazing dress like it, it's gonna be good it's gonna be great I really like it then by the time we get back to Vancouver I'm already telling her I don't like the dress anymore I I get home and I immediately call David's bridal and I say I literally just purchased this dress about three hours ago I realize I can't return it but it's been three hours the order it, it was a Sunday night at like seven o'clock at this point I'm like there's no way that an order has been placed there's no way that this team whether it's in like New York where Vera Wang's based or like across these there's no way that they have the order yet to really do anything but they are insistent that I have to or that I can't return the dress and I tell them I it would be great if I could at least get store credit because I'm 100% gonna get my bridesmaids dresses again through the Vera Wang line there and I'm very confident about that at this point and they kind of like dick me around a little bit and they're like you have to wait for a manager hold on one second anytime I called to talk to a manager which like I had to call them three times and my mom had to call them two or three times they made us wait on the line for about 20 minutes every time for the store manager to get on the phone which I understand they're on the floor selling but kind of annoying on our part really annoying that they made us wait every time but they were super lovely every time they were trying to be really helpful but they just like weren't giving the most useful information for the woman that I kept talking to every time like she would kind of like say you have to do it before the dress arrives and then I say when's the dress supposed to arrive and she's like we really have no idea it could be in a month it could be in three months it could be in six months and it's like how like it was just like kind of hard for me to kind of make any decisions going forward from there so eventually my mom stepped in worked her magic physically went to the store and was like we just need to give this dress back like this is ridiculous we've just wasted so much time doing this and so eventually got the money back and we moved forward on a dress I took 
I got put on a little bit of a timeout just to um, take a breather and really think about what I wanted. <laughs> So at this point, I've exhausted all of the trendy, cool stores in Vancouver. There were a couple more, but I was kind of just to a point of, okay, I'm just going to go to this row of shops in a city called New Westminster. That's about like 40 minutes away from Vancouver. So going into the first place, I already automatically tell them like, okay, clean, simple, no lace, no sparkle. Well, it is a lot harder to do eyebrows when you're talking than I thought. I'm gonna fast forward this section. Okay, I got most of the way, but at least I can do this part for you. Um, anyways, yeah, so the first place, like, I told them no lace, no sparkle, no nothing. They literally had no plain crepe dresses. So I mean, you have an hour scheduled. I think that place was actually an hour and a half. And I, pill I pulled like eight dresses, I think, which is like still pretty good. I was just kind of like being pretty lenient. I was like, oh, this will be fun to try on. Let's just do it for shits and gigs almost in a sense. And out of the eight that I pulled, I could only put three of them on. Like, again, I'm not huge which is like sorry that's like a really weird way to put it i'm like a size 10 i would say i mean wedding dress sizing is like really weird and like every brand fits way differently but from when i got sized at david's bridal to order my first dress the girl pretty much told me my waist is that of a size four or six but my hips and butt are like the size of a 14 I think she said so like don't get me wrong I really like having it but it was just really weird when I'm trying to put dresses on because like if I could get it past my hips it would fit but it's just like the part that the waist was so small it could I just couldn't get it past my hips it was super weird and super frustrating because there were so many like dresses that I was like this would be beautiful but I couldn't even like try them on and I just couldn't even be bothered because I'm I really needed to have like a good idea of how the dress was gonna fit like I wasn't just gonna take a complete chance on it for such a big investment for something that's so important like I needed to see that it fit properly so for my eyeshadow I'm going to be going in with the Tartlet Toasted palette and I'm going to be using shade mm, candle down here just for a really simple gold eye look to go with a nice red lip um so continuing onwards of this shit show <laughs> i i tried on all the dresses that i could that place didn't work out it was just too old school like i tried on a dress it made steve's mom cry and i was like wow that's like really lovely but it just really wasn't resonating with me the next place that we go to is where this story goes for a real fun turn because it was probably out of all appointments just the most embarrassing part for me um again i tried i took a bunch of dresses and i put on one of them and i literally just heard like a whoosh, and i was like i didn't did i like part of me was just hoping like i ripped like the acrylic or just like an under layer that like you know wouldn't be noticeable but literally I was trying so hard to just get it past because I thought I could like inch it through and it it ripped right at the bottom of the zipper so if the zipper ended like here this portion here was just like a hole and I was like fantastic this is great and not liking this eye color at all gonna go ahead and use my finger and put on a little bit something warmer um continuing on again so like it was like pretty dead quiet in this place like it wasn't that busy so I was like all right she probably heard she probably has some questions um luckily she didn't so I just took the dress off said nope can't get this one back on put it back onto the hanger and I was like 
I think I'm good. I don't think there's anything here for me, unfortunately. Really appreciate your time. And she was really lovely. And I just told her, like, it's kind of, like, sucky because they had so many nice dresses that I couldn't get on. She's like, oh, let me take you into the plus size area, which is completely nothing wrong with. And that's not the part that embarrassed me. Really, just the most embarrassing part was that it ripped. And, like, my heart literally sank. So I was like, oh, shit, am I going to have to, like, pay for this dress, pay for it to get fixed or something. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything in that room because a lot of those dresses were more A-line and loose because, you know, they're meant for like more fuller figure girls that probably didn't want to wear tight fitting dresses. So on to the next from there, I actually found my wedding dress at this last place and I'm not going to describe it because I'm going to keep it a secret until the wedding day, but just kind of goes to show like the trials and tribulations of getting a wedding dress and you know that's about it to my story and my story ended a lot quicker than it took me to do my makeup so I'll kind of add just some more tidbits of wedding planning that I might make into a longer video in the future I'll kind of wait on you guys to tell me if you want that to be a thing or not um, you know, first things first, wedding guests. It is a pain in the ass to narrow down a list. It took us a good year. We narrowed down our venue and knew what our maximum was, but from there it was quite difficult because it's like, do you allow kids? Like, how many cousins and all of this stuff? And most of that was on Steve's side. He has quite a big family. And it was, you know, again, we had to make that decision, like, do we invite the younger kids? Like, how many cousins? Like, his dad is, like, one of eight and his mom is one of four. So my family is quite small because it's literally, like, my mom and my dad were the only siblings from their respective families that had children. So I'm, like, a tiny little list of, like, 50. But Steve ended up with, I think the original list his mom made was, like, 180 or between 180 and, like, 200 or something like that. So figuring out guests is an interesting one. Wow, this sucks because it's old, but it's literally the only red one that I have. Just to outline my Cupid's bow. So that turned out not bad. I used the Fenty lipstick, god I don't even know like the actual name, the Stena lip paint, that's what it is, in the color Uncensored in the first original red color. Honestly, this color just goes with every single skin tone. But anyways, back to wedding stuff. Then food. Food and booze. Booze actually is like the number one because you're like, do we want to do open bar or do we want to just give each person a couple drinks? Like, it's... It's hard because you want to be like the cool party people, but at the same time you're like, shit, I got a budget. And I mean, when I go to weddings, I definitely want an open bar, but anyways. Food is a really big one as well, because it's like, how many courses? You want to make sure everyone has enough food. You need to ensure there's enough food if you're going to do an open bar, because you don't want people to get totally wasted. So here's actually another interesting thing is about wedding dress shopping specifically. I wanted to be super careful to ensure that I didn't get any makeup on any of the dresses because that would literally be yet again just like another nightmare um, similar to my ripping incident and so I wore pretty much no face makeup and of course I have eyelash extensions so that I was a little something something to the mix but all these other girls had like full faces of makeup and I mean I guess for me it was like since it was a struggle to get like in and out of these dresses you know it made more sense for me to be more self-conscious about that but in all my pictures I just look like this little like pale little rat essentially because like most of the days it was like cold and raining so I would like take you know, public transportation because it was the easiest and quickest way to get to these places and my hair would just be a mess. I wouldn't have any makeup on. I just looked really dull and dreary. So it's definitely something to consider for when you're going wedding dress shopping yourself. 
Another important factor with bookings for weddings, photographers and videographers. Like we got so lucky with our photographer, Erin. She's super cool. She, you know, offered to do engagement photos for us when we opted out of it. Um, just cause, you know, we have a lot of friends and family that are into photography. So we're like, oh, if we're gonna do something like more low key, then we'll just get them to kind of help us out with it. And the photos turned out so amazing. Like I, it's hard for me, for someone else to take photos of me because I just get so self-conscious that I don't know how to like move my body and whatnot. But she made me feel so comfortable and the pictures, again, turned out amazing. I'll pop up a couple of them on the screen. Boop, boop, boop. I got a little unlucky in the sense that I wanted a very specific videographer who did our friend's wedding because I literally like cried when I saw their videographer. And when I got in touch with them, they're like, yep, yeah, we are still available. And I was like, amazing would love to get a deposit your way. Let's just book. Like, I'm already familiar with your work. I know I want to work with you. And they didn't respond to me for a couple of days. And I was like, that's really weird. And then they got back and said, well, we had another couple we were already talking to about that date. And they, you know, we had to notify them that someone else was interested for the same day. And they just went ahead and like booked a deposit. And I was like, all right, that's not cool I mean I get it if I was them I would want the same you know type of politeness however you want to put it <laughs> um, in that situation like if I was kind of like considering them and you know yeah I get it <laughs> they still kind of held us hanging on for a couple months because they said the couple booked two weekends with them because they couldn't book their venue yet or something along those lines so I stuck around until April and then they finally told us we're not available and I'm like okay cool so I finally just found another videographer who honestly either way in the end he's amazing it all worked out in the end in the end that's like just like my random uh, thoughts here and there this was like my first time doing this so it's like kind of hard to like focus on two things at once like part of me would be like do your makeup the other half of me is like you're not talking you should like do the same thing at the same time, but like, it's hard. You do it and tell me how it goes, <laughs> sort of thing. Um, but I'm gonna post the link to the final look um, when I put everything all together with this hair and makeup for what you can't see in the back. It's not super rocket science or anything. It's just kind of like a nice little, little bun. If you guys like it, I can do a full video on it. It's just, again, very quick, very loose. I kind of do this on days where like I haven't washed my hair in like maybe like one or two or three days. Um, but yeah, just an easy go-to. Thanks so much for watching this video guys. I really appreciate your time. Um, please, if you have any suggestions on what I can do in the future, please let me know. I'm planning to do a little bit more like wedding stuff here and there as it keeps coming up in my planning, story times. I can tell you the story of like how we got engaged, stuff like that. So just like let me know what you're on the lookout for. See you guys next time. Bye!